Good evening fellow Groove Riders, Wolf and Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's episode we uh, second fix a garden workshop and we start a new barn conversion. So let's get into it. Bosh! Good morning at Grant and Stone, got Jamie here. This is like uh, what I have to do, I have to write it out as we chat to it because I'm used to it tonight, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie's hanging a little bit, you had dance last night, Jamie, didn't you? I did, Will. You actually played for England, didn't you? No. Well, you, ha you have done that, yeah? <laughs> no, mate. What I was played it? for Hertfordshire, that's about it. That's all right, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad, Will. That's not, that's <laughs> not... <laughs> yeah, but you did play for England, though. No, Where did did you go to England? England? I went to the England Open. Oh, all right. I lost in the last, <laughs> last eight. <laughs> some shit. That ain't too bad. <laughs> Friends. So, what's the difference between the vapor proof? So, you reckon it's 50p difference? There's, there's not a lot in there, mate. That's no. what crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's bizarre. Yeah, and 65. so this one, yeah, as well. So, five of those, 10 double sockets. It's also proper governor turning up on a Saturday to give his old boys uh, breakfast, <laughs> eh? Do you actually day off, Paul? Oh, I it? the breakfast as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we, heard the, we heard the order and everything. Did they oh. not want it? It's at Wenzel's, isn't it? No one likes at Wenzel's, so I don't know. With Wenzel's, best sugar ring donuts in town, mate. Is it? By a long way. Mm. I used to like their little ham and cheese, ham and bacon pizzas, but then it just smells iffy in there, doesn't and it? Ham and cheese croissant kind of guys, because it's near public toilets, Will. They can't help that. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> you can do us a massive favour and show your support for the channel if you can like, subscribe, and flick Will's bean. Like, follow, and subscribe. Like, yeah, but like, why you don't follow? What? You don't follow. You don't around my head. Nah, not on YouTube. You do. You subscribe. Ah, so do you, yeah, you Only Dan. Yeah. Only Dan. Good morning, back at uh, Dan's shed. We're just going to make this off. So basically, we're just putting white Hager accessories all on this. It's actually come out really nice. He's done quite a good job of it, Ebs, isn't he? Yeah. So it's all coming out. So we've just got the vapor proof and still tornadoes, I think they're called, uh, going up. Uh, we was going to put five foots up there, but uh, Grant and Stone didn't have them in stock. So we're just getting the six foot which ain't a problem. So yeah, it's just this bit area here that we might have an extra one. So we've got the fuse board going on over there. So we put the uh, put that there. So I know for the supply to come in, this is all clear, that's all clear. So I know it's all gonna be all right. We're actually gonna have it on extension lead. So, uh, because the armoured, because it's gonna be fed via, you're standing in like what, a lot. What, I can't what? see you. Why yeah, so. So basically the supply is going to come from there, but Dan's going to put an extension and we're going to put on a whisker box. So we're going to go for a non-RCD fuse board because the actual main supply for the additional protection is going to be RCD protected. So it is protected up there, Daniel. Strap it up before you slap it up. Naughty, show us your t-shirt. The old masturbator, always playing with my tag call. Yeah, there you go. Keep me off, bro. I know what you mean. So you've done quite a good job of this, Dan, haven't you? Yeah, thanks. How long did it take you? I did absolutely mug you off. Did Five it? Hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, two hours on Saturday, three hours on Sunday, all insulated, all nine. Yeah, I see Cheryl's helping you, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's why the cuts look so nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she won't be watching this old dribble, will she? So we've got five of these and still lights going up here, vapor proof ones. They're actually going in these bits, Ebbs, yeah? So basically, I'm going to put it there. So I know all this area here, I can drill for at later days, and all that for the other for the other shed. So I know it's going to be okay. The the whisker box, the other end, is going to be there outside the other side. So right, Just it's putting great. these and still vapor proof light fittings up. Uh, the tornado ones, we're going to put them up there, so they're going to go out a slant and all that. We did think about doing noggins. The only reason I got vapor proof one is that Dan's actually going to do a lot lot of. Uh, woodwork in it so it's just dust so they can be nicely wiped down so we're not actually too bothered about drilling through these but a word of warning if you drill through these these can fiberglass they can be quite fragile aren't they yeah. it's not fiberglass is it it's like a plastic but plastic, yeah but they can split really easy can't they yeah, so they yeah we've got most of these lights up this is doing the last one i'll quickly show you what we've done so basically we've got a laser set up there we've also got a laser set up there shock horror i've done a review of the uh, lasers Ebs and i and what we've done is we've drilled the back of the light fitting which is the center there and then we just go through that and then where that red one goes all the way through we literally just line it up with them screws there, which is dead centre, there and there. And it's absolutely spot on, and it ebbs. 
and then obviously with the stuffing bag, we've had to alter the uh, clipping, so we hide it. I just, you know, it's just easier because that was the first one we we done, and you can just see the stuffing gland. I don't, I know it don't really mean a lot, but at least you can't see any cabling as you walk in, Ebbs, isn't it? Yeah. Looks very good, very nice. So we quickly go through this little tip again. So obviously we've got that laser set up there. We've got that one there. So obviously we drilled a hole in the in the back, which is a three mil hole, and then we've uh, we go through that screw there. Can you see where that's got it there, and that there, and that's why every single time it's going to be bang on. Yeah, as simple as I know. Son's not teaching you rocket science and all that, but. It's as easy as, and that's how you know. We used to obviously ping lines and then obviously measure off the side, but that's just, yeah. Well, yeah, before we had lasers, what we'd do is literally just measure off that to there and do a pencil mark and just lean it up against that. That's the only other way you can do it. It's one of the most easiest tips I'm ever going to show you is just that before you put these lights up, because Ebsy's already started doing it, which he ain't even aware of yet, but is you start at the end, because look, see that there, yeah? Yeah. So if you start at that end, you're never gonna, it's always gonna go on. See what I mean? So I'm quick that. There's no dig at you guys, it's just, oh, yeah, no, you start no. at one end on every single light fitting or anything like that, and then you know it's always gonna be bang on because it's pre-made, pre isn't it? Yeah. Nice clip on, and then just obviously make sure that they're hanging the right one. There's gonna be one on the floor for that one, yeah? So I'll quickly show you what we've done. So out there, we've got an adaptable box. So see that there, that's an extension lead because this is actually all running off the extension lead because we can't do the actual arm until later. We've got all the sockets done. Nice little tip for second fix as well is make sure all, this, all the screws are upright so then if anyone takes them off, you know whether they've tampered with them or not. Obviously, it's something like this, it don't really matter, but a decorated house, it does. Fuse board there, that's all there. So we've got a socket there for the welder, socket up there. We've got five of these and stall bad boys. We love these, Danny. You happy with it, yeah? Oh, yeah, well happy. And it's on two switches, and it's got first one does the first two where his bench is going to be, and the second one's about there. We added that one over there because it was a little bit of a dark spot. But all in all, pretty good. Only Dan. Yeah, only Dan's. Yeah. So we're just loading the van up, getting it all ready, all nice and shorty. Early morning, just at the office, just got a bit of paperwork to do. Uh, we've got all, I've got to load all these steps up and all that because I've got a uh, job, oddly enough, on a Sunday at six o'clock. We've got to meet up and go through the drawing for the barn conversion because the guy I'm doing it for is a builder who we do a lot of work for who's, I'm not going to be able to make it there. So I've got to get the lights, everything loaded up because when we get there tomorrow, we've got extra geezers coming in tomorrow. So we just want to get as much done as quickly as possible because uh, we do a lot of work for the geezer and uh, I just want to get it done as quickly as possible because uh, we have got a massively busy period. And plus, I know I could do with a little sweepage through here, but I've also got some, uh, I've also got a load of paperwork to do. So all in all, hopefully after today, we'll be all uh, caught up. Morning, we just sorted out this job here. These walls here haven't been built, so at the moment we're just putting this string line up so we can imitate where the wall is going to go to make it easier. We're just going to leave them cables along that wall quite long so we can do them after they've done it. We've got G-Man, we've got the other guy, we've got uh, we've got Ollage there as well. That's the kitchen Ollage mark up there. We're just getting all the datum lines for, for everything just to make sure the finished floor heights and everything. All right, Ollage, right. how's your weekend? All right. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit boring without football, wasn't it? Yeah, I've got Spurs on Saturday, though. Have they? Oh, yeah. banger! Yeah, we're away to Palace, so I'm well looking forward to. So we've got we've got the full crew here today, so we're literally going to try and knock this out as much as we can this week, and hopefully get it all sorted. So we've got the kitchen there. That where I just showed you was the office and the bedrooms. That's the master bedroom and ensuite. That's the ensuite there. That's the master bedroom. That's the toilet. Racy is. Uh, you know like I say? Yeah. What, on Sunday? Yeah. Oh, decent. What a weekend of football. We've got Palace. We've got Palace Saturday. Not one of my favourite away games. Gonna get slaughtered. Right, so we're all here. So this is the main entrance. So there's a lot more to show you. Reese ain't here tomorrow. So Reese ain't. Uh, Reese is just marking out all the lights and getting them all plotted for us whilst me and Ebs are going to wire them all. Right, anyway, if you're going to be anything, 
then this ain't Instagram, so you're not gonna be electric. Basically, every single day, every single safety glasses I lose, every single gloves I lose, and you never lose any, do you, Ebs? Yeah. Eh? And he even wrote on his gloves, didn't he? And look, where's your name on my gloves, eh? Yeah. And then the nice ones, you didn't even, you could have robbed the shit ones. Eh? Like you love it. I told him, I told him all <laughs> yesterday, and then you come bowling in today and no monkey's given. Yeah, yeah. you're a rascal, aren't you? Just give you a quick tour of outside. So this is all the bedroom areas with the office there, the bedrooms there, the ensuite there. So we're having two lights there, one light there, one light there, either side, either side of here as well. That's the boot, in, boot room entrance, so that's probably gonna be the unofficial main entrance to the house. This is the, the nice bit here, it's beautiful, and it's gonna have a massive chandelier here with a snug bit, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna show you. So this is what we're doing. So that's gonna be utility there. That is gonna be a day room up there with a view overlooking the fields and all that. It's gonna be beautiful. Master bedroom in there, a little toilet there, ensuite there for the master bedroom kitchen diner area here and then just down the bottom where the other boys are just doing their bits so uh, they're wiring that now and that's going to be office and bedrooms so it should be gorgeous i think it's about time that i'll probably change the blade on that see the blade on that rec now yeah, look now i've got one out there i don't know the ones you gave us are in the unit i think i, know. I, I bought them what you bought them today I've got one, I've got one here. Yeah, look, see the amount of teeth he's got on it, look. But that's perfect for plasterboard, isn't it? Yeah. Ebsy just checking out how high we can get with our tall steps. Don't go on the top run, don't go on the top run, don't go on the top run, geese. Fucking Nora's, man. Yeah, okay. Right, so we just have a bunch of food at Greg's. We've never been in this garage before. I've kind of found kind of lent Olive. Let's have a look, see what you get. What is it? Barbecue, buy a smell box. I don't know what's actually. My Them wedges yet. are absolutely gorgeous. You had one. Mm. We've just been discussing that we don't get these in our normal Greeks in Stevenage, do you? Oh, hello. Fuck you. Gosh. Hello, boy. How much was that? Four quid? £70. £4 with a drink. Tuesday morning, so we're just here, just going to plot this. Uh, kitchen now get all the appliances to get all the brackets all fitted and all that but this is unfortunately going to be the run back to the board because what we've got is we've got all these solid oaks and the board is actually going in the kiosk out there i don't know why he wants it in there but that's where he wants it so we're literally going to have the main run coming all the way back there then we're going to have to clip it all at the 450 or 450 of the finish height so obviously we're in the safety zone of all that i don't know whether we're going to chase that or that but he is actually having like double this like silitex over the top of that so the wall is going to actually be about that thick so but he'll obviously have to cut the back of it out but phone's calling so i'll see in a bit yeah, so obviously like every other barn conversion all the uh, actual uh roots are an absolute nightmare because obviously each one of these bays is going to have 100 mil worth of silitex and these uprights are about i'd say 200 wide and all that and we've drilled all the way across the top there because we've got these uh these beam lights going up there that is our actual safety zone there which to be fair we're well over 100 it's got a feather board that board from that osb is about 75 so we're well within our zones but we're going to actually put them uh the actual beam lights up there to protect them but there's not really a lot else we can do really because it's so awkward it's like even this bit up here it's like to get in there i don't know if you can see it but those but these beams here are about five mil so we're gonna have to fan all the cables across there to get in there because there's, there's down lights going through there we can't put a down light there because of that brace and um, he was saying he can't move it so we're just gonna have down light there down light there and a the smoke probably there but yeah, we're getting there. It's coming across really nicely. But as I say, that other end's all nice and done now. So, all getting done. They've just got to dress the cables in and get in neat. But yeah, it's good. We'll have to cut them down afterwards, Ollie, yeah? One of the other jobs we've got to do is plot out the uh, fan grills as well. Because this one here, the utility, has got to have the same one as well. We're going to, and this has got the ceiling because it's got storage above. We're going to have to make them the same height outside. For, cosmetically as it look awful i'll show you these ones as well because this has got an ensuite but it's got a full ceiling they want it out the ceiling so they don't get the draft in this one 
Yeah, yeah so basically we're outside. So this is basically where the uh, the ground floor toilet's gonna be roughly about there. And then the utility one's gonna be about there. Where these feather board is, uh, I think it's 15 centimeters or 150, however you wanna be. But they obviously four inches, 100 by 100. So these ones are probably gonna be, that's gonna be the low level one suite window I'd say so they're probably them two are going to be there but obviously the more we get them next to each other and the same height and all that the neater it look I know it's probably a ball eight for no reason but yeah it's a beautiful place so I'll it? just quickly show you what we're going to do because uh, we've just been discussing it with Ollie so here is where the extractor is going to be uh, sorry the uh, canopy for the kitchen and then in the bathroom somewhere there is going to have a ceiling mounted one but see where that is there that full ceiling there so if we go for that bit there across there yeah so don't you agree Ollie that if we measure from that corner there up to that height we can even set a laser up and then measure across and then we can determine the center of the feather board outside can't we babes yeah you happy with that yeah. yeah so those two turned out perfect and then we just go over to these and have a look at these two these two come out perfect as well so that's the ceiling so that's a nice enough Hello. 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 That's just the neighbours wanting some sexy electrics doing as well. So that one turned out perfectly as well. This is the utility. Happy days. They've them two have come out all right. We'll just have a look at the ones around here. Check the distance, the maximum distance allowed for those because that's a canopy and a extractor. But I'm pretty sure that's fine. It's, I think it's only when it comes to the gas exhaust that's the problem. Morning, so this is almost done. All this just got to finish this. All these cables are ready to go back to the sub main there, which we've got to run the armoured. We've picked the cable up, which is going to go all the way along there, through there, and back to that kiosk. All he's just finishing this room off, as I said the other day, is that where we haven't. We've had a string line up here for this wall, so we've obviously got sockets, lights, switch lines. He's obviously left them long. So these bits here are for beam lights, which we're just gonna see. We're not too sure how Nigel wants them, if whether he wants them on, sh or if whether he's gonna feather them in. I think they're too deep to be done, aren't they, Ollie? What, the beam lights? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, and sockets, obviously we've gone for the brackets. Obviously the, all these floors coming up to at least that height. That's the finished floor light level. So these old this old beams are gonna be low, aren't they? Once it's yeah, it's, coming it's up, done. Coming up that, yeah. And this door here is a bit tricky as well because it's got her open there, but he wanted a wall light bit, so I think that probably change. We have got a trace in a socket there which we was hoping he was gonna get rid of, but I have to bring the chaser later on in the week or get the grinder and all that. But it's all done, all sorted. Just down lights in there. They, for some odd reason, they don't want fans in the bathrooms. These are just spare rooms, to be fair. These are just for their grandkids. And this is gonna be their their office, which is it's still huge, isn't it? Yeah. You know, but it's come off, come out okay, all right. We've run them all across the top. They've all been uh, fixed in place. Nice one. So once all is done here this morning, we'll all come over and get them all back to the board for it, help you. And then we're all wiring up the other end, which me, Reese, Lenners, and Ebsy are doing. Ebsy was at college yesterday, G Man's off field, and the other guys not with us for the rest of the week. The first day, he was on holiday last week, weren't you, Lenners? Yeah. How was it, mate? Was it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Enjoyed yourself, yeah? Yeah. I thought I'd quickly show you this. So, what we've done here is we've wired the, bar, we've wired the bedroom. So, this is how we're going to do all the lounge and all that is we've literally just capped it along and pulled loops in because this is going to have a dry lining box then that's going to be 50 mil deep then he's going to be able to so hopefully that will protect him from the Celotec another little tip is is we always put the because we take photos and everything we've got the markings and the arrow from where we've measured it from so that one's going to be from that steel that one and then these ones are going to be obviously from that wall because that's never going to move you know what i mean and the, the trouble is, is because there's a steel there and a steel there, we've had to choose one of them, so I've chose that one because that, that door's never going to move. It's just, you don't know how far he's going to pack them all out on that corner, do you? So that's how we've done that. We're getting all this wired. Epsi's up there. Reese is there clipping. So we're getting there. Did Epsi not get the memo? Look, are you not cold at all then? No. Look, show, show everyone what I'm wearing compared to what even Reese's got. Even Reese's got a coat on, hasn't he? Perseus. 
Fine, no, that's a light switch, that's a fan eyesight. That's why sometimes you want to uh, cut them screws off because we're wiring behind them and they're as sharp as anything, yeah? That's a prime example. You grind them off, you can get them pretty decent, you know what I mean? And that's why we do it. But Reese is always left out because he's always uh, not part of the cool kids. But go on then, Reese. Give us, give us your two minutes. Sell it, sit. I use the proper tools, the yellow stuff. You know what I mean. So um, yeah, your this, kitchen this, this new power stack uh, range is wicked. It's smaller, so this is narrower, so it can fit in more gaps. Use it all the time. It's really powerful, and uh, yeah, the battery lasts for a while. Well, which, so what's the power stack mean then? Because Dale just, uses all that, doesn't yeah. he? It's just literally like instead of them being cells, they're plates. So apparently. So what's the difference between that and the fi the fifty four volt stuff then, or is that just all different gear? They're all different, yeah. That's a whole different range. But yeah, it's just meant to have longer battery life. Right. Well, good morning. Quick little update. Leonard's got that uh, chasing up there. So this is all complete. This had to get moved over here because the actual fuse board is actually being moved down. They did want it up high there, but now because they're putting the heating manifold we're actually going to put it next to there so it's going to be the fuse board manifold so it can always be boxed in we're not actually going to run that armored in yet because uh that needs to be repaired that floor so we're going to do that afterwards so we're in this area here we've got a lot of this smashed out it's only me ebsy and reese today ollie's at college g-man's not feeling very well and lena's is at college as well but we're trying to get Lenners full time now, so from next week he should be with us full time. But yeah, we're just in here. We got quite a bit done yesterday. Reese is just trying to plot out the light for the centre uh, chandelier, see where that goes, and then we get that, and then we're going to put beam lights in each corner. So that's what I was going on about with these zones. So they'll be covering them. We got the ensuite done. We got the utility done. We did actually get some information about all the heating as well. So we got all the manifold and that wire. So we got all these cables. What me and the pl plumber have asked to do is that if we get all this board built and all that and he fits his equipment, we'll leave it open and then we can suss out what we were going to do with it. Afterwards, we got all this done. So that is just as white goes tumble dry on washing machine and all that off them spurs there. So they're going to come in the middle and we put the sockets uh, single sockets in there so all in all so we're hopefully going to get this bit done around here today as much as we can because uh, me and ebs have got a test to do tomorrow afternoon but and hopefully the other boys will be back tomorrow so all in all should be a good day Reese, baby hi yeah, no. ebs's uh, ebs's got a little bit more clothes on you know what i mean uh, 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 what's that and a what? And you ain't got my gloves on either. Have you found, where are my gloves? Yeah. 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 Reese has just set up these lasers for the chandelier. Obviously we're not getting nowhere near. I reckon we can clip it to there and then they'll have to build a tower. But one of the good things about this is where you can see the cross. The cross is roughly, is roughly about there, which is just gonna be off, just on that pitch there. But one of the things is with the pendants is that you can actually put them not centre, which is it proper throws customers that are pretty. I'll show you this here. Where they're having a plinsia here and they're going to have the lights above, the lights are actually going to hang from there. But where people think that they're on a slanted ceiling, that it looks a bit weird. But I'll, I'll put an image up because we've done one for Matt, which is a, a prime example. Because it's one of those things, Reese, that you don't think would work, do you? But. Once the light, the chandelier is hanging, you don't actually notice the uh, ceiling at all, do you? No, I have to go there. Yeah, right. Reese is just drilling through that oak. So what we do with those as well is we just put a uh, a 20 mil uh, bit of conduit just because you don't get a lot of bit of movement with oak and all that. It could crush the cable. So we put a sliver in. I'll just show you another example of where we're doing the uh, the collars for the conduit. It's just it's just in case it shrinks or anything like that, the oak and all that. So it's just in case, because obviously there's still 10 mil, 10 mil cellar text to go in these walls, where this is 70 mil behind there. So we're well within our zone. See, we've done it everywhere. You know what I mean? It's just a good way to protect it. Let me know if you do it any other way. I'd be interested to know, or to think it's a waste of time. You know what I mean? But it's just something we've always done. It just prove that you learn something new every day. I always just multi-tool this out and see what I see Reese yesterday. And Reese does it with a jigsaw. Go on then, Can you just... Have you marked it up? Where is it? That one there. 
Oh, you don't know the depth here, so do you? Obviously, it's marked up like that. I've actually pulled the screw out the noggin that way, so it should just be able to cut it. That's a proper decent way of doing it. I've... and then just got knocked out. That's 20 times quicker than the multi tool, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Yeah, Where's Reese? He left the stapler now. Oi, 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 Reese, baby! Reese is just going to put these lights up here because sometimes what we do is we, we get bits of uh, feather board and spin them around the other way so they come around the uh, level. But these ones seem okay, so we're going to put these two up, see if they're happy with them. Uh, it don't look too bad because they're actually matte black but sometimes if they're lower level it is nicer just to get it because where it comes through like that you just spin it around like get enough one the other way and it fits level but i'll see what they say we'll put them up and see yeah right thank you for watching um if you're gonna be anything be electric and don't forget to flick these bowls peace out